Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson one in my series of lessons on the minor part of the cage system. So today we're going to be looking at the five basic ways of playing a minor chord on the guitar and then root shapes. And I've got to give you an effective way to practice every single minor chord in every single key in every single position. So the cage system is based on five open chords. The five basic ways of playing an open chord on the guitar are C, A, G, E and D. C has two C's in it. We call that the C root shape. A has two A's in it. We call that the A root shape. G has three G's in it. That's the G root shape. E has three E's in it. That's the E root shape. And D has two D's. That's the D root shape. These root shapes are really important for understanding how everything fits together on the guitar. They're in everything. Every kind of chord, scale, arpeggio has a root note. To make a major chord into a minor chord, you need to flatten the third. So for C major, we take the E, which is the major third, we flatten it by a semitone to E flat. Now we can't flatten this open string, can't go any lower than an open string, so we're not going to use that one for now. But we can flatten this E down to here. Now I could try and do it like that, it's a bit awkward, so I'm going to rearrange my fingers and play it like this. I'm only playing the middle four strings. The root notes are here still, C, C, I haven't changed the root notes, so I've just flattened the third. Now I want to make a movable shape from this chord, so I'm going to take the C, shift up one fret, I still need to move the open G string up one fret, so I'm going to rearrange my fingers like this. That's C sharp minor. Here are the C sharp root notes. Now we can just move that one up. This is D minor. Shift it up one more. D sharp minor. One more. E minor. This is how I want you to practice it. Start with the open C minor and then work your way up chromatically. Chromatically means in semitones, one on the guitar, a semitone is one fret. Just going up one fret at a time, but when you practice it, name the chord and play the root notes. You need to know which chord you're playing. So after E minor, we move up one more fret. F minor, my fourth finger's on F, on the eighth fret of the A string. There's another F there. F sharp minor, F sharps, G minor, G's. G sharp minor, G sharps, A minor, A's, A sharp minor, A sharps, B minor, B's, and finally C minor. This is one octave above where we started here. So the second letter of the word caged is A. So if we go to the A shape, here are the A's. The major third in this chord is C sharp. We're going to flatten that to a C. Now we have A minor. The root notes are the same. I want to make a movable shape with this chord, so I'm going to shift it up one fret, rearrange my fingers, bar down across five strings. Now I have A sharp minor. My root notes are here. Shift it up one more. I have B minor. Here are the B's. Shift it up one more fret. I have C minor. Here are the C's. I want you to practice this chord in the same way as we practiced the previous one, just shifting up one fret. Start with open A minor, then work your way up one fret at a time. So after C minor, we're going to C sharp minor. Always playing the root notes as well. D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, and finally A minor. This is exactly one octave higher than the open A minor we started on. The next letter in the word cage, C, A, G, G shape, G major chord. The major third is B. We need to flatten the B to a B flat. Now for this chord, there are two versions we could play, like this using four fingers, where we play the G bass, dead in the A string and we play open D and we've got B flat, D and G there. Or we could play it like this, where we have G on the third fret, 
B flat, the minor third on the first fret, and then two open strings. We're going to play it like that. The reason is, is we're thinking in positions for the cage system. This chord, this version of G minor, every single note's on the same fret. So which position are we in? Are we in this position here? Are we in this position? Are we in the middle? It's not quite clear. Whereas this one is clearly in this position here. Okay, so G minor, there are three root notes. Even though we're not playing them all in this chord, we're still going to learn them. To play G sharp minor, I'm going to shift that up one fret, rearrange my fingers. I'm going to put a bar down across the D and G strings first fret. That's G sharp minor, root notes. A minor, A's, A sharp minor. B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, and finally G minor. One octave above we started. So the next letter in the word cage, C-A-G-E, E major, flatten the third, E minor, the root notes are E, 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 movable shape. Shift up one fret, rearrange the fingers so your first finger is available to do a full bar across all six strings. It's F minor with the Fs. F sharp minor, F sharps. So we're going to practice this chord in the same way we practiced all the other ones. Start with the open chord, shift up one fret at a time, name each chord as you go. G minor, G's, always playing the root notes. G sharp minor, G sharps, A minor, B flat minor or A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, E minor. And this E minor is one octave above where we started. Next letter in the word cage, C, A, G, E, D. D shape, this is D major. Here are the Ds. Second finger's on F sharp, flatten that to F. We've now flattened the third. This chord is now D minor. These haven't changed, the root note is the same. Now to make this a movable chord, we're gonna shift up one fret, rearrange the fingers, free up the first finger. You don't need to do a bar with this one, you can just play the D string, first fret with the first finger. This is D sharp minor, E minor, E's. Again, we're gonna practice this in the same way, going up one fret at a time, chromatically, F minor. Say the name of the chord as you're playing it. Fs, F sharp minor. G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor. This is one octave above where we started. That's every minor chord on the guitar played chromatically. So we played one shape, we shifted up one fret at a time until we got to the same chord name again, one octave higher. So what I'm going to give you next is a, another way of practicing them to really go a bit deeper into learning these chords. We're going to use the cycle of fourths. Now the cycle of fourths is also known as the cycle of fifths, or the circle of fourths, or the circle of fifths. It's a way of arranging all 12 keys, but rather than going chromatically one semitone at a time, we're going in intervals of a fourth. The cycle of fourths is C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, or F sharp, B, E, A, D, G. And then we go back to C, and we've completed the cycle. So we're going to practice our minor cage shapes using the cycle of fourths, starting on C, and we're gonna to go to the closest chord. We're not gonna jump around the neck. We're looking for a very steady climb up the neck. Counting in fourths, starting off C minor, C shape. C, D, E, F. F is a fourth above C, F minor, and the closest shape is the E shape. F, G, A, B flat, 
B flat minor is a fourth above F minor. We're going to use the A shape because that's the closest one. B, C, D, E flat is a fourth above B flat, so E flat minor, and the D shape is the closest one. Carrying on, E, F, G, A flat minor, using the G shape. A, B, C, D flat minor, using the C shape. D, E, F, G flat minor, or F sharp minor, using the E shape. F, G, A, B minor, using the A shape. B, C, D, E minor, using the D shape. E, F, G, A minor, using the G shape. A, B, C, D minor, using the C shape. D, E, F, G minor, using the E shape. That's all 12 chords. Now we start the cycle again on C minor, using the A shape. C minor. F minor. B flat minor, E flat minor, A flat minor, D flat minor, G flat minor, or F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, G minor. That's another 12 chords. Now we start the cycle again on C minor using the G shape. C minor, F minor, B flat minor, E flat minor, A flat minor, D flat minor, G flat minor, or F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, G minor, that's another 12 chords. Now we start the cycle again with C minor using the E shape. C minor, F minor, B flat minor, E flat minor, A flat minor, D flat minor, G flat minor, or F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, a minor, D minor, G minor, that's another 12 chords. We start the next cycle on C minor using the D shape. C minor, F minor, B flat minor, E flat minor, A flat minor, D flat minor, G flat minor or F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, G minor, and then we finish on C minor, which is one octave higher than where we started with the open C minor chord. Okay, I think that's enough for lesson one. If you got through all that, well done. There's loads and loads of information there. There's a lot of work. Uh, if you didn't quite get all those chords, don't worry, keep playing them and keep playing them badly. If you can't play them well, play them badly and they will get better. Just remember all the other chords that you couldn't play and now you can play. It'll be the same with these. Just keep playing them and you'll get them.